then we have key product features that are there in Fusion GL. So you have journals. So we can enter journals in spreadsheet as on the first day I had explained. We have extensive spreadsheet for entering journals. So we have extensive spreadsheet integration like we can create a lot of things. The other day we had seen uh, uploading the currency rates also and like we can correct journal import errors. So once you have to uh, click on journal import errors it will also download an Excel for you. You can have multi-currency journals this was there in EBS. You can also do journal copies if you want to make a copy of that journal. Uh, you have robust wizard like allocation with calculation manager. So this calculation manager is a Hyperion based tool wherein you can perform different types of allocations. You can use a rule based, formula based. So different types of allocations can, can be done. So I'll touch base on allocations later in this slide and then you can uh, <coughs> you also have greater collaboration with Oracle social network integration. So you have this uh, social network inbuilt within Fusion applications. Let's say for example if you are doing period closure and you have multiple <coughs> <clears throat> and you have multiple ledgers in different countries wherein different managers and different people are responsible for closing all those sub ledgers and ledgers. So what how how to monitor all this process because if let's say you have 10 or 15 different primary ledgers which you want to close for different different countries and it can be very difficult to maintain all these things. And if you want certain information, let's say that period is not closed and there are certain journals which are not posted, some are in errored out, then you need to uh, collaborate with the team and ask a lot of information. So you can use this inbuilt social network within system for that particular task. Let's say if you are in period closure, you have a social button over there. You can just click on that button and initiate a conversation. Everyone must have worked on LinkedIn or Facebook and all those social media websites. So it is quite similar to that. You can just create your own groups and you can initiate a conversation within the users of the Fusion application. So you can send in messages so people in the group will receive messages and they can revert back to those messages. So whatever information that you need and then you can do that under the task list like if you are doing period closure so you can you, if you are there in the period closure you can initiate a conversation within the period closure so the other users they will understand that this conversation is being initiated under period close so we are talking about period close over here. So all those things can be done uh, using this social network integration that is within Fusion application I think this is licensed separately but I'm not sure of that but uh, this is mostly this is licensed separately <coughs> and then over here we have multi currency and multi gap so you can use multiple currencies multiple uh, accounting principles like we had in EBS so you can have translations uh, revaluations translations is nothing but your reporting currencies so you can translate balances into different different currencies from your ledger currency or your functional currency. You can have revaluations. So we'll see what is revaluation and we'll uh, define that in the system. How to define all those revaluations in the system and currency conversions, spreadsheet based currency rate upload. So you have this spreadsheet based currency rates upload we had seen last time. Support for multiple accounting representations for your IFRS and local rules. So all these things we have for subledger accounting <coughs> then we have certain <clears throat> it is very productive uh, as you have role based dashboard that work uh, areas that proactively monitor transactions and push works to the users so you can proactively monitor your transactions like you have a work list in your home page and you have lot of dashboards that we had discussed so you can monitor your transactions allow collaboration with participants so you can collaborate for different different tasks monitor account balances so uh, we have a tool called as account monitor which we will be configuring today and we'll see how we can monitor the balances uh, in the system of key accounts let's say there are certain expenses which you want to monitor 
on a daily basis or very frequently so that you can configure and put it in your dashboard so the balances in those accounts will be visible to you and you will also be seeing what percentage change is happening from let's say from previous period so it will be displayed in red color or green color all those things will be can be done so more <coughs> really sorry today my throat is not very well so I'm coughing a lot and then we have uh, monitor the closed status across ledger and sub ledgers so this is a very good thing that is there so like in EBS we had to run different reports in order to know what transactions have been posted or what sub ledger transactions have been uh, generated or not or, or been done accounting has been done or not or if they are incomplete so all those things can be seen from your GL itself so Oracle has provided a period close dashboard wherein you can monitor all your sub ledgers all your sub ledger periods from one single place you can see what ledgers have been closed what sub ledgers have been closed whether there are any unaccounted data unposted data or unimported data or unvalidated invoices all those things can be seen without running any reports from a single page 